हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट so what is the classification Ab aberrations in normal development and involutional classification so here the classification is divided into early reproductive years in the early reproductive years normally what happens first in early reproductive years normally okay in early reproductive years normally there is lobular development there will be stromal development will occur normally nipple in aversion will occur normally okay then what are the disorders that which occur in early reproductive years early reproductive years you will see presence of fibroadenoma there will be adolescent hypertrophy will be seen with nipple inversion these are the disorders then what about the diseases which occur in early reproductive years diseases are there can be giant fibro adenoma can be seen with gi gigantomastia sub areolar abscess may be seen with mammary duct fistula so all these are the diseases which we see so these are the normal development normally in early in early reproductive years first uh, we see normally lobular development stromal development and nipple aversion then disorders are fibroadenoma adolescent hypertrophy nipple inversion whereas diseases are giant fibroadenoma gigantomastia that is big breasts and sub areolar abscess and mammary duct fistula then in late reproductive years in late reproductive years sorry in late reproductive years here first normal normally in late reproductive years there will be cyclical changes occurs of cyclical changes of menstruation will occur with epithelial there is cyclical changes of menstruation will occur with epithelial hyperplasia of pregnancy and that is normally but if you see the disorders disorders are in late reproductive years we see presence of cyclical mastalgia is seen with nodularity and also there is bloody nipple discharge is also seen has the uh, disorder then what about the disease which you see in the late reproductive years in the late reproductive years the disease is there is incapacitating mastalgia is the disease due to uh, aberrant uh, aberrations in normal development and involution because of that there is incapacitating mastalgia are seen then then we have involution see late reproductive years mainly includes 25 to 40 years then we have involution in involution we have mainly 35 to 55 years of age now in the involution first we see normal so normally in the involution there is no lobular involution duct involution dilatation sclerosis there is epithelial turnover is seen these are normal then the disorders in involution are in the disorders we have macrocysts there is sclerosing lesions are seen duct ectasia is seen with nipple retraction and also epithelial hyperplasia and if you see the diseases in the diseases we have peri duct tel mastitis and also there is epithelial hyperplasia with atypia is also seen 
so these are the different diseases which occur in um, involution in the involution part of uh, and the classification that is aberrations in normal duct and involution thank you and thank you for watching